Um, in Hong Kong, uh, Voltra is going to host four work camps. Uh, we have two in summer and also two in winter. We have a partner in Hong Kong. They like they promote um, eco-friendly ways of uh, <coughs> planting. And then in this place called Long Valley, they have a piece of farmland, and they need a volunteer to help them to do rice planting in the summer. And then um, near the farmland, we have a small farm, a uh, small house. There we uh, house all the volunteers joining this work camp, but given the size of the uh, of the house, we can only host about like seven to eight volunteers. So for overseas volunteers, this camp we only have four four uh, four vacancies. And um, and the other work camps we are having in the summer is the warehouse renovation, and you can see the pictures on page nineteen. Actually, warehouse is a like. Um, declared as a heritage in Hong Kong. It used to be a, a, a police station back in the British era. <laughs> and um, now it's a youth center. They can use the premises, but they have to help with the maintenance and renovation. So that's why they need uh, volunteers to help them with painting, maintaining the uh, facilities and like dormitories. Because it's a youth center, they have a dormitory there. They need someone to um, keep, keep it brushed up all the time. And you can see the pictures, people helping with uh, some gardening work as well in, in the youth center. And there they can try out like compost, they try to do this uh, like experimental like planting and uh, green work in urban areas. And then in winter, like you plant the rice in summer, you harvest in winter. So again we are having the, the planting, um, the harvesting work camp in, in winter. And at, uh, during the winter camp, they're also having a festival to celebrate the harvest. So, like, they would do a bit extra work to like prepare for the festival as well. But again, like, they are how uh, they are going to be housed in the farm in the in the small house near the near the farmland. And then also for the uh, warehouse work camp in winter, the, that's page twenty seven. It's a bit different. This time in winter, they don't do renovation. Um, instead, it's going to be uh, in the period of Chinese New Year. So what we have uh, the volunteers to do is that they're going to prepare for the Chinese New Year market. It's like Christmas market in Europe. But um, instead, um, is, uh, they will, they will t take charge of the work preparing for the market itself because the hosting organization is going to have a booth there. The volunteers will decide what to make and then they'll make them and actually sell them at the market itself. They're going to promote, so lots of interaction with local people, they, they'll understand what, what um, the culture, the Chinese culture, like how they how people celebrate New Year. Um, I think that, that that would be like interesting for uh, overseas volunteers because they will get to work with local volunteers and they'll talk to local people as well. You don't have to because we'll have like camp leaders and the local volunteers working with them. Like if there's anything you really have to do it in Chinese, somebody can help. Yeah. Okay. We do have a lot of activities like uh, we have trainings for local young people and uh, we do training for two purposes. One is for, for the hosting organization where if they need some, they have a need like a renovation or uh, some kind of other stuff we can arrange people to help them and the other purpose is we have training work camps for leaders in which we select leaders from for our Hong Kong work camps so the main mainly we will recruit our, our leaders from the volunteers who have joined overseas work camp before because we don't have much Hong Kong work camps so we rely on the group of overseas work campers so based on them we give them training and then we select the appropriate leader to lead uh, our own work camps and uh, we do have some other activities like um, we organize our members to join some voluntary activities like cross rows. We have a one day service for them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, things like this. Because um, we are still a developing organization, and most of us working are, are volunteers actually. So only our first staff. And I myself and yeah, my other colleagues are volunteers. So uh, in the past, we don't have too much resources to focus on too many too many different subjects. Now we have more resources. We plan to do more, but uh, we just see it. Yeah. Uh, actually, for uh, volunteers coming from Spain, you don't need visa in Hong Kong. 
Belgium. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Belgium. I think um, for most European countries, you get visa free for a very long period, like ninety yeah. days. Yeah, something like ninety days. Yeah. So should be good. If it's just for work camp, like more than enough. So normal tourist visa will do. Uh, I think it would be good if they bring something local that represents their culture because we will have cultural sharing during the camps and if they ha can prepare beforehand then it will be like more interactive, people can see and like, maybe hear or like they bring some local food and stuff, yeah.